Hello everyone, happy Monday! Today's story is the dinosaur that pooped the bed. Another silly story. Danny and Dino had nothing to do, so Danny said, why don't we watch some cartoons? But then Danny's mum cast a shadow of gloom. You can't watch TV till you've tidied your room. They slumped up the stairs in the finest of grumps and stood in their room at the foot of Mount Dump. Tidy this mess will take thousands of years, said Danny, while desperately holding back tears. Unless they were going to tidy forever, they needed a plan, a plan that was clever. And then an idea popped inside Danny's head. Why clean up this mess? You can eat it instead. So Dinosaur opened it, its mouth like a bin. Dan scooped up the mess and threw it all in. Toys from the tip of the top of the heap were chucked in and chomped by the dinosaur's teeth. It chewed Danny's shoes. It could not get enough of Teddy's and cuddly stuff made of fluff. The dinosaur sucked like a humming gus hoover, whom removing a mess like a room mess remover. Vets, pants and socks and little toy soldiers. Dan laughed as he watched from the dinosaur's shoulders. His fluffy pet hamster, along with its cage, was swallowed in dinosaur's mess munching rage. It smushed the CDs, which on reflection were far from the greatest of records collections. So Dan didn't mind. It all had to go if they wanted to kick back and watch TV shows. Oh. In Dinosaur's head, the bed was a burger, as diamonds would look to the greediest burglar. In one dino bite, the bed disappeared. No mess left in sight. The whole room had been cleared. <coughs> Not one piece of rubbish was left to consume. At last, we can finally watch some cartoons. But Dinosaur's tongue cast a shadow of doom. It was full to the brim with the mess of Dan's room. <coughs> Dino was wedged in between floor and ceiling. It couldn't believe how full up it was feeling. It started to worry. It started to panic. Never before, never before had it been more gigantic. The dinosaur's bottom was bigger than Norway, so big and so fat it was blocking the doorway. Then Dan started crying. <laughs> His nose dripped with a snuff. <sighs> they were stuck in their room and the TV was not. With pillows and quilts in the dinosaur's gut, its brain didn't have full control of its butt. It knew that there wasn't a thing it could do. One way or another, it needed to poo. <gasps> the dinosaur pooped more than ever before. All the mess they had cleared was now back on the floor. Shoes, pants and teddies and shoulders and socks with smelly poo lumps filling Danny's toy box. Then Danny saw Dinosaur's face turning red and then you! The next thing that he pooped was his bed. It sprang from its bum with a bounce and a bump right back to its place at the base of Mount Dump. Then Dino defeated and blocked the door where Mummy was standing more cross than before. They looked at the mess all around where they stood and knew they'd been naughty. And naughty's not good. So they picked up their mops and mopped up the plops that covered the toys and the vests and pants and socks. If only they tidied the room as they should, they'd be watching TV, not wishing they could. So remember, next time you're in front of the telly, you can't watch cartoons if your bedroom is... Smelly!
the end.